Thanks to its ion engine, it was the first ever spacecraft to go into orbit around two separate extraterrestrial bodies. You see, while ion thrusters aren't very powerful, they are extremely efficient, and so can remain on for extended periods of time. Unlike chemical thrusters, which rely on reactions causing heat and pressure to push gas away from the rocket, ion thrusters simply ionize neutral xenon gas with electricity to create acceleration. Dawn was firing its thrusters for 85% of the time during the transit to Mars, expending only 72 kilograms of xenon propellant and gaining over 1.8 kilometers per second velocity. Upon reaching Vesta in July 2011, the images it started returning wowed the science community. It really was not what they were expecting. After being captured by Vesta's gravity, Dawn lowered its orbit to get a closer look at this unique asteroid. So, what made Vesta an unexpectedly nice surprise? The first thing you'll notice about Vesta is that it has an unusual shape. It kind of looks like a squashed ball. There are two reasons for this. The first is that it is not very big. Yes, these asteroids, although big for asteroids, are pretty tiny on astronomical scales. Vesta is not quite big enough for it to be in hydrostatic equilibrium, or in other words, to be rounded by its own gravity, as it is only about 500 kilometers in diameter. This gives it the surface area of Pakistan, about 800,000 square kilometers.